love and cheat on miss. Yo, what's the word? <laughs> what's going on with y'all, man? Hey, man. Salute to everybody in the building. Yo, man. Bad ways. Bad ways. Said, Can I get a wrench? Hey, let's work on that, man. Let's work on that, man. I got you, brody. What's up with it, Anissa? Hey, man. Salute to everybody in the building. 540 c though. What it do? What it do? What's going on with it, brethren? Yeah, man. Y'all are not tuned in to the Alabama hitter. <laughs> that way, if you would, smash that like button. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button, man. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Um, tonight, we're talking about Cornelia Smith. What up with a big pressure? Russell Douglas in the building, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. Yeah, we talking about cornbread, you know what I'm saying? T-Ski, what's the word, man? So, yeah, you know, we got to, we got to first, first, first and foremost, we got to give Miss T her props because, uh, man, she dropped, she dropped some gems last night, you know what I'm saying? And um, we got to talk about it. Yeah, we got to talk about it. You know, these boys, um, they up the bat. Time is drawing near. You know what I'm saying? Time is drawing near for trial, y'all. And um, we're going to see if they stand on business. They're going to stay solid. They ain't going to fold. What they going to do? You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like uh, these boys got their money. I, I feel like, honestly, everybody going back into their own corner. And they're going to start folding like a bad deck of cards, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because 60 years is a long time, man. <laughs> 60 years is a long time. Shout out to my dog from the city, OG Chevy Rider. What's the word, man? Yeah, 60 years is a long time. And when you're looking down that, when you're looking down that um, barrel of a smoking gun with a terabyte or more of evidence, you know what I'm saying? Um, when you got blood splatter in the car, directed, directly connecting you genetically, you feel me? With this whole situation, hey man, listen, I ain't, I don't see why these boys ain't plead out. Honestly, you know what I'm saying? If you're asking me, but um, we're gonna talk about it. I hope y'all good tonight. I hope y'all got your favorite beverage. I hope y'all, you know what I'm saying. If, if, if you if you smoke, you know what I'm saying? I hope you rolled up tight. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, we finna dive into it, man. Yeah, man. Money related, Jay. What's the word, man? Yeah, we had this thing, man. So, um, like I said, shout out to Miss T. But we're going to take it all the way back to the, um, the advent of this. We're not going all the way to November 17th. Just a little ways um, after that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about you know, Cornbread, Cornelius Smith, you know, the 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 lesser spoken about, you know what I'm saying? Uh reflections with Kimberly Wilson. What's going on, man? I hope that day going good, Kimberly. You know what I'm saying? Big pressure. What big pressure talking about, man? Big pressure said, um, I think they've been telling, but it's all circumstantial at this point. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all circumstantial at this point. So we're going we're gonna to get into it, man. But um, yeah, let's go back to these days right here. It went too far. It went too long ago um, when we seen this little bit of evidence come across our screen, you know what I'm saying, from the local news. Shout out to WREG. You know what I'm saying? Let's check it. Cornelius Smith made his first court appearance today. He was extradited from the DeSoto County Jail where he was being held on an auto theft charge involving the white Mercedes. In addition to that, he faces first degree murder, attempted first degree murder and felony weapons charges. This morning, he appeared in court briefly. Our April Thompson was there. The case has been moved to Division 11 under Judge Karen Massey. The DA's attorney 
uh, says he was in court for a theft charge and his case was moved to go along with the murder charge on which he still has to be arraigned for. No future court dates were announced. Yeah, as my boy Jay say, let's start there. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the lesser known of um the two. Yeah. It's the lesser known of the two, Cornelius Smith. You know, we got straight drop the more flashy one, you know, um, dropping the video stepped on, basically, you know, saying claiming responsibility for the death of young Dolph. And we see where that got him. You know what I'm saying? Jay always brushing. What's up with it, bro? Salute to you all the way from New York City. Yeah. New York City. Oh my. That way. Yeah, man. So check this out. Um yeah, Miss T. Miss T dropped some tea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And uh, we finna we finna get into it. We finna get into it. I'm I'm not gonna hold y'all. I'm not gonna procrastinate with this thing. But yeah, straight drop was the more heralded one. You know what I'm saying? What up with his school? Yeah, he was the more heralded one. He was the one that had dreams and aspirations of um how can i say a, a contract he wanted he wanted to be cmg you know what i'm saying he wanted the spotlight and we all know the key glock was the man he had been tapped by Dolph, and i really feel like straight drop felt like he he should have been tapped as well if he wasn't put before key glock so you know, all of this animosity, and then you got Dolph signing um, Big Hunk, you know, it all was fueled to the fire. You got um, Michelle White, a lot of y'all call her Kamisha. Y'all got her dumping fire. Y'all got her pouring gasoline on the flame, telling these young boys, you know, saying, don't tell them what your next step is, just step. You feel me? And that's a lot. That's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention, on the other side of town, you got multimillionaires that hate the South Memphis kingpin. You know what I'm saying? And they use these young boys as manipulation. They manipulated them. They manipulated them with money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, delusions of grandeur. Kevin Felder. What's the word? Positive vibes. I see you in the building, repping that good skull gang. What's the word with it, man? So um yeah they 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 motivated these boys with delusions of grandeur to crash out you know what I'm saying we all know about the mansion party in Miami we all know about you know what I'm saying everybody you know what I'm saying bonding we're going to just say that bonding from June 2021 all the way up into November when that fateful date and that tragic date occurred at Makita's on Airways you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, let's listen to what Miss T said. Shout out to Real Talk with Tamara. If you're not subscribed, go subscribe right now. You're missing out. You know what I'm saying? If you want to know what's going on with this dog case, check out Real Talk with Tamara. She's just going to give you what's real. She ain't going to put no icing on it. She ain't going to put no sauce on it. Pure, uncut. And we finna jump into it right now, man. Y'all smash the like button. Oh. Okay. According to my source, Cornelius Smith regrets. I put some stuff in the members. Y'all go look at that. He regrets his affiliation. According to my source, Cornelius says that um, he just needed some money. At first, I told you guys, Cornelius. Cornelius was trying to disassociate himself. He said he knew what happened. But I'm going to pause this <laughs> because I'm gonna, I want to say this. We all done done something that we regretted. You know what I'm saying? And we all did it for um the wrong reasons. So I'm going to just say this. That ain't enough. That ain't enough cornbread. You're going to have to, you have to give us a little bit more. So with it, what's happening? Yeah, so with it, what's happening with it? Bad ways. Hey, man, salute to you. Welcome to the hit squad. That way. 
yeah, everybody did something they regretted. Regretted that ain't enough. Let's 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 keep going though. He was trying to disassociate himself. Okay, so you all take it for what it's worth. Okay, because he ain't doing it now. Okay, and um, according to my source, he regrets that he did it. All he wanted was some money. He wanted some money at the time, and I'm not gonna get it all into how he was brought in. I'm, I'm, that's, I'm, I'm not, I'm, not, I can't talk about that. And um, so Tam said she ain't gonna talk about the way he he was brought in. So. With that being said, right now, all we can do is speculate, right? Uh-huh. But I think if half this chat speculated, they would probably be dead on. Yeah. Y'all already know what this is. It was, uh, was already, um, how, how they say it? With, with it, um, what's understood ain't got to be explained. Yeah, let's keep going. And But I will say this, okay? Cornelius wasn't gonna get involved but whoever the payee was wanted Dolph gone so bad this is a exclusive right here they wanted he want whoever it was and i you know i don't know who it was that paid him okay i i don't know the person in tim that i don't want to know maybe all that'll come out in court or something the person who wanted young Dolph gone want he, said he never according to my sources Courtney said he never had any um pro any issues with Dolph didn't hate him no issues at all just a lot of regret and according to my source Cornelia said he wouldn't even got involved but they kept going up the person who wanted him gone so bad went all the way up to a million and a half money on my head price went up again yay salute the mo three yeah Money on my head, price went up again. Listen, they was dead set on getting Dolph out of here, y'all. Uh, you ain't gonna do it for 50? How about 75? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You you hey, you cold with what you do, bro. We need, we need, we need you to touch this nigga, bro. What's up with it, Kato? Yeah, uh, salute the big Kato. Kato TV, go run them subs up, man. Salute to the boy Kato 540, man. Yeah, that way. But yeah, they just kept coming at him, kept coming at him, you know, and they needed him because people in the city, they knew about Straight Drop. Not so many people knew about Cornelius. Cornelius is low key. You know what I'm saying? He is a low key dude. You know, even now, people still to this day, Say that, um, man, maybe Cornelius didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that was Big Nooski. Maybe that was Bane Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that was, you know, so and so. But, um, as we can tell right now, hey, Cornelius Smith, rest in peace to Dolph. But Cornbread hopped out with that thing and he started working, Jack. You hear me? He started working. Look at Straight Drop back there. Straight Drop back there looking like a real peon. You know what I'm saying? Like he hung over from the night before. You know what I'm saying? But hey, we ain't going to take nothing from Straight Drop because we all know Straight Drop, one of them ones, he going to put it on you. You know what I'm saying? We all know what happened with the situation with Kenny Money in the bowling alley. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is do your research. You know what I'm saying? One thing about one thing about straight drop, if he pull it, he going to empty that joint. Yeah. 901 King Deshaun, shout out to you. Yeah. Whoever had that type of money, he was a big dog. You know what I'm saying? And we're not going to act like, you know what I'm saying, this one no big money. And we, we're not going to put this on one person, but guess what? They probably passed the pot. Come on, man. Y'all know how this works. <laughs> a, 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 a enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's my friend. So, hey, let's talk about it. Come on now. That's an exclusive, and you could take that to the damn bank. Okay, let me exit off. We're not going to pass that. Hold up. We're going back. 
it all just a lot of regret and according to my source cornelia said he wouldn't even got involved but they kept going up the person who wanted them gone so bad went all the way up to a million and a half that's an exclusive and you could take that to the damn bank okay let me x that all um talked about he said he didn't have no issues with young dog Of course, the money kept going up. And they want the they want the people that paid it told on to include straight drop, but the straight drop don't want to be the one to do it. Okay. Yeah, I know straight drop. <laughs> straight drop released a song from Deep down in the bowels of 201 popular, yeah, Shelby County Jail called No Statements. So, you know what I'm saying? He wanna he wanna keep his face card clean. He don't want to tell, you know what I'm saying? But somebody need to tell because word on the street is maybe um I can't get a cell phone like I used to. Maybe my water cut off, maybe whoever was funding me mysteriously. Got gunned down, paying respects to their loved ones. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? But we're gonna keep going. Hold on, hold on. Before we get before we get too deep into it, kill a cow. What's the business, bro? Yeah, hit squad deep, man. Hit squad deep in here. Y'all hit that like button. Show your boy some love, man. Show your boy some love. Manny G. What's up with it, Manny G? Positive vibe said. Uh, the greed for money lured those men in. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's not hard to lure some young men in. You understand what I'm saying? Young men with a lust for um clout and a lust for money. See, they had the best of both worlds. You understand me? Because Straight Drop wanted all the clout. He hated Dolph. He wanted his lick. You understand what I'm saying? And Cornelius, he just wanted the money. He just, just give me the money. I'm hurting. I'm a, I'm out here cleaning floors. I'm a freaking janitor for God's sake. Give me the money. I need to pull a stain, fam. Yeah. So that's where they was at with it. And they thought they had the perfect combination. But when I tell you that these niggas screwed the pool so bad, y'all know what happened. Hell of the crazy thing about dog, the, the the day Dolph was killed, that was Lord Infamous' birthday. Damn. Well, I'm not going to pull out no numbers. I'm not going to do no Illuminati. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because honestly, y'all, this shit ain't that deep. And I know a lot of people talk about higher ups. All the higher ups was involved. Jay-Z, Rock Nation. I, you know what? I ain't got to go that high, fam. This shit is right in front of y'all face. It's been happening since day one. This was the fourth attempt on this man. You know, so was the higher ups involved on the first attempt? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> they released two drums at this man. I mean, come on now. What are we really talking about? So, so they, so three attempts and they went and got the higher ups on the fourth one. No, I, I just think Dolph was relaxed in the city. He was relaxing and you know how it is. You know what I'm saying? A prophet, a prophet gets no love in their hometown. Come on, man. I know y'all know what I'm, y I know what I'm talking about. Leah, what's up with it? What's up with it, man? Y'all hit the like button, support the channel, hit the cash out, man. Um, Everything that donated gets, put right back into the channel. That's how we rock. That's how we rock. So let's keep this going. Hey, Cypress, what up with it, big homie? Now, that's 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 T for days right there. I, I just said it all without, without ruining the case, okay? But that ain't even all of it. So as I said before, when people put out all of these innuendos and hey, I can respect any and everybody, 
that worked on the young dogs, uh, well, not worked on, because no, none of us worked on the case. The only thing we did was vlogged on it. And yeah, we're not lawyers. <laughs> we're not lawyers. Let's 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 get that shit out of the way. No, nah, we just we just average Joe Smoles that like off music and hate what happened to him. You know what I'm saying? Do we want somebody to go down for it? Absolutely. Absolutely. But uh, are we breaking the case down? No, we just, hey, man, it's barbershop talk. Hit squad know what it is. Yeah, man. Big Drew, what's up with it, man? What's going on with it, family? Yeah, man. We're going to keep going. We about done. And it was supposed to be a healthy situation, right? And it can't be a healthy situation with all of the BS, right? But the truth of the matter is, um, you know, there were people put on here to witness tamper and all of that. Y'all, y'all gonna see some vloggers that was confirmed today arrested. Okay. Hold up, some bloggers got some bloggers got arrested for witness tamper. Oh, that's deep. That's deep, y'all. Um, I had to do my research on that. Damn. But well, that's worse than TT Naughty. If y'all know about that situation. But yeah, hold on. And for witness tampering, I had been telling y'all that from the very beginning. Okay, because according to my source, there was a witness who was reached out to by a vlogger and was threatened. Okay. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> I hope we ain't out here threatening bloggers. That shit crazy. That's crazy as hell. Hey man, listen. Um, with that being said, hey, I'm finna drop the link, man. I know is my dog Cyber still in here? If he ain't here, man, you know you're welcome to come up and we're gonna we're gonna chop it up about this, man. But you know, 1.5 million dollars, huh? 1.5 million dollars. That is crazy. Hey, salute to Leo for the for the cash out. Thank you for donating to the channel, Leo. We were really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Every little bit helps, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Salute to 901 King Deshaun. He was my 1,000 um, subscribers, so that that was um, super dope. We did that over the weekend. You know what I'm saying? It's up. And um, needless to say, it is absolutely stuck. We're not playing no games, man. Y'all sub to the channel. Share the video. Share the live, man. You know what I'm saying? Let everybody get put on game about what's really going on, man. So, um, yeah. That's what it is, man. Cornbread said that he didn't really have no beef. You know, he just needed the bread. He needed a little money. You know what I'm saying? And and it's strange what we'll do for a little bit of change. You know what I'm saying? Sacrificing our integrity, our livelihood, our very freedom. That's crash dummy energy, y'all. And I think they got one. I think they got one. What's up with it, Big Block Pablo? What's the word, man? What's the word, man? Salute to you. Yeah, man. So it, I, I, I honestly feel like they got the perfect combination to crash out. But, you know, this was sloppy. This was sloppy. And they got everything that they need. Uh, I wouldn't feel comfortable showing all of Miss T content. You understand me? But she did say going forward in the live that straight drops blood was in that vehicle. <laughs> grand opening, grand closing. Ain't that what Jay-Z say? Grand opening, grand closing. Yeah. Yeah. They call a couple of crash dummies. Absolutely. Absolutely. It ain't no other way to look at it. You know what I'm saying? One crash for clout, one crash for finances. You know? And what's up with it, DJ? Going on with it, man. So, I, you know, Player Cole was up on Cypress Live today, and he said, man, the cold part about it is if they had got a job and just put their nose to the grindstone, they could have got that. You know what I'm saying? 
it might have not have been as fast, but they would have got it eventually. Yeah, but we don't think like that. The the energy is the crash. You got to live fast, but when you live fast, you die slow. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? Cypress always say, um, I forget how Cypress say it, but he said, if, if you can take it, you know what I'm saying? If, 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 you, if you got enough ass to do it, you got enough ass to take it. You know what I'm saying? Basically. Yeah. Chocolate, what's up with it? What's going on? So, yeah. The fact that D-Boys crashed out like this, man, and y'all know that these fellas did not get what was promised. You know, he said out the 1.5 million, he locked in. He's like, all right, bro, sign me up. I'm 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 rocking out with you. I'm gonna rock out with you. Um bro, ain't nobody what up with it, Mac? What's going on, man? Yeah. Yeah, ain't nobody get that money. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who was the physical. I'm not gonna say that. I believe that um there were two facilitators. I believe that it was Orange Mound Quit and CEO Teasy. Yeah. Hey, it's what? Cypress TV. The last day with himself. Yeah, hey, I don't know who in the building. The motherfucker love this. What pop? I'm in the motherfucker with Alabama Hilda. Shout out to Big Pressure. Shout out to Nelson. Everybody that coming through the night, kind through the night. Come talk with my nigga Hilda. What's going on with pop? Man, I can't call. I can't call it, bro. You know what I'm saying? We just talking about these boy. 1.5 million. How much you think they really got, bro? Yeah. Uh, they probably put down like a 50 piece. Yeah. Well, well no, nah, yeah. nah, they probably put down probably like a hundred. They probably put down like a hundred. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but with but with, but with niggas like TZ around and niggas like Quit, somebody cuffs so. up. Absolutely, absolutely. And y'all know when when TZ got hit, you know, what I'm saying with that domestic violence charge, they ran up to this boy house. This boy had um weed all in in the baby crib, all in the doll house. He had scales and shit all over the place, pistols, ammunition. They literally caught Teasy with the whole house. The whole house. And and I forget how much money, but it was a lot. It was a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Everybody, if, he, everybody if he got if, if, if he got caught with 400 grand in his house, it, it was probably like a uh, another four five hundred. Thousand that uh, they pocketed. Trust me. Absolutely. I, I know how the police do. Right. Right. I mean, they took. They, man, they took so much shit out up out of that dude house, and then let him sign himself out, y'all. They let the man. His signature was enough. They said, "We just did this to get your autograph, bro. Go ahead, sign, <laughs> sign. <laughs> let me get your autograph. You go back home." Man, listen, I ain't never seen nothing like this. And it ain't it ain't like they didn't know who he was, uh Cypress. They knew who he was. This is this is CEO TZ. You know what I'm saying? Top dog, true La mafia. You know what I'm saying? One of the most dis no. disruptive games in the city. You know what I'm saying? No, no criminal. He get caught no with all criminal. the he get caught with we you get caught with automatic gun switch it, bro. Yeah. Right. And if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, bro, check this out. Teasy was a person of interest before this shit even happened. You feel me? Mm -hmm. What are you folk crazy, man? <laughs> Y'all see how quick got paid paid that bond with no problem and had all that money to pay for the lawyer Dirk had. Absolutely. We well, talking about this girl. Well, 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 he had, well, he still had connection to some shit. Man, y'all gotta think about it. And I ain't finna just throw nobody into this shit, but 
Well, listen to me, man. Come on. Let's $90,000 ain't nothing to make what you got. Hey, you in the back of a big joke pocket. And you also got a little flip on your team. $90,000 ain't nothing to make, man. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, then you come home. And a week after you come home, they find T Zelv on Bun and Orange Mound stretched. Well, that on. ain't the kicker. Come that on. Ain't the, let, let us open y'all eyes to some shit, okay? We can open y'all eyes to some shit. Right, right. Not only did they scratch this man, left this man Nelson. Then for, for hours. Yeah. His closest nigga who we were beefing with, but also was related to bag and commission them, what did he say? Man, bro, I hate to see you like that. I was trying to bust out the window to get you there. <laughs> why, would you, yeah. why, would you, why would you say that? Yeah, why would you even put yourself on the scene, bro? And then, what did Kanisha say the following day? Ah, that you got to you... Go ahead. It's a paper round game. They did this. Uh, Y'all know why she said that? Because Kenny Money went shot his music video at the same house. I'm not saying house was the same, it was the same location. Yeah. He shot the video on Bradley. I mm -hmm. think um, Teaser got killed on Bunton. Mm -hmm. um, that's right around the corner. Right. And Bunton, you know, that, that's where they all used to congregate anyway. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Hold on, 901 King to shine. Come on. Let's let that's 9K, but you paying big time lawyer fees. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, that ninety thousand dollar bond ain't number nine thousand. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But then when you go in there, you talking about getting Manny Aurora. You know what I'm saying? This dude defended dirt and got him off of a murder. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Got it to the point where they weren't even looking at dirt. And at one point in time, and they said they said Dirk never had their hand out the window dumping. So, yeah, that's crazy. He said, "Teasy, mm. that's wild. That's wild. Y'all see it? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Sight." And that's crazy. You put them folks on the limb like this, and then the new people. And me personally, if I'm running paper route, I'm showing the whole new company. Y'all never come on TV again, fucking with me. Nah, yeah, that shit. That's what we call <laughs> WPRE <laughs> News. Man, what? Yeah, y'all be the guy with the whole. Y'all be done. Yeah, for real. And you can't erase it. You can't erase it. Guess what? Yeah. Bitch, I recorded it. You can't erase it, Jack. Everybody seen it. I'm talking about she got out the big and bold. Uh, and word word on word among the people out here is that this was done by P R E Dolph's gang. Really? Come on. Come on, man. Yeah, and what Teasy got. Unalived at not too far from the cookie shop. Yeah, ain't nowhere in the mound too far from the cookie shop for real. You know? Yeah, that's right up the street. Once he yeah. says, exactly. "Hit that car down the mile, hit that highway, man, you there?" Bam. Yep, Tiza got unalived eight houses away from my house. Oh man, dang, Deshaun, that's crazy. <laughs> Hey, Sip says Scott Street, yeah. No, the that's the gal last night, Scott. Hold on, hold on. What gal? The news lady. The kid, the kid, oh, Scott. oh, yeah, that is her name. Yeah. That's one of those motherfuckers. She don't be in front <laughs> of a camera on a news station. You know? I'm, yeah. Hey, I ain't gonna even hold you, bro. Um... Standing in front of a camera saying that, 
I don't think I, I, I think I want to transfer. Send me to Wyoming. You know what I'm saying? Send me to Wyoming somewhere to report a new cut. Man, listen. And then she was out there for Juke when Juke got, you know, straight. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure she got her a little uh, entourage to roll with her. Uh, yeah, she better because if she don't, she's going to catch it through Howard. Right. The, the news ain't blamed pre for Juke. No, no, they didn't. No, nah, when well, you had when well, you had local joke on get on the Instagram and ran and rave and his mm-hmm. high five and the national store for another day. I Cypress. You know we gotta call it straight. Well, I'm gonna call it straight down the middle. Now I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I know what you're talking about. You talking about Kenny Money, you talking about, you know, saying a few other people that posted on their story. But we can't, we can't, we can't act like these boys. Let's 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 start here. CEO well, Bobby, well, JoJo Splat. <laughs> well, I ain't got no, I ain't got no problem with Kenny Money. Yeah. What about Snoop Bands? I fuck him. Oh him, man. <laughs> him and Key oh. Glock, man. I can't stand neither one of them zombies. <laughs> But but I I know I know I know Tamika I know Tamika Kathy was a key glob mom she's cool yeah yeah but if somebody was angry with TZ and D maybe they was maybe they weren't so much angry they it was a sense of urgency to get him gone that's why I'm leaning Deshaun I'm leaning that it was a sense of urgency to get TZ out the way because everybody and their mama know. The teasy have been chit chatting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh-huh. Teasy definitely been chit chatting. Sofa setting. You know what I'm saying? Conversating. I'm leave it right there. So <laughs> who, y'all, so who y'all think has something to do with the teasy? Hey, man, listen. Who y'all think has something to do with the teasy situation, man? Drop it in a chat right on. Hill alive, man. Come on, hit squad. Yeah, y'all let me y'all let me know who y'all think has something to do with this because I got two people. And when, and when y'all drop y'all names in the chat, who y'all think has something to do with this? I'm gonna give you my two people and we're gonna rock out like that. Yeah. Come on, DJ. I know you got I know you got two cents to um chip in with this. Drop it in the drop it in the chat. Uh-huh. Mhm. Inside. Uh, <laughs> hey, tiny. The nigga that did that video with Clown G. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I ain't gonna say the fed did that. Matter of fact, sip y'all. Come up here, man. No, no, you can't have nothing to do with that. Come up for a sip show. Come up for a come up to the come on up for the panel. Nah, but ain't, ain't no ain't no feds. Ain't no feds. So I'm gonna give you my two. Y'all ready? <laughs> All right. Number one, Orange Mound quit. Mm-hmm. Number two, <laughs> Go Van. They're my two. <laughs> if if either one of them ain't do it, ain't nobody do it. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. Nah, yeah. ain't no crooked, po- ain't no crooked police did <clears throat> I'm telling you, it was two. It, it was one of the two. <laughs> it was either it was either the Govan or it was Orange Mount Quest. Y'all pick which one y'all want to, <laughs> to implicate. <laughs> I pick both of them for five hundred, Alex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, they both won. the same people. They one and the same, Jack. Come on now. Talk to me. Yeah. This man, ain't who did Pimp up there in this suit over here, man? What up with it, DJ? <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what I'm saying is this right here. How you going to be able with a guy like him that then got, you know, supposed to be with a jacket on, kill him in his own hood, and then... We don't, use, we don't like, use the K word. We don't use the K oh, word. Oh, okay, well, 
on the live, on the live, on the live, and just slide. What everybody talking about now is really from the hood. Like they slid, like they put them on a seesaw and just slid them back in the hood and let them sit there. That's what I was saying. Or everybody like. You can't move. You can't touch a person like that unless they want you to be touched. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm if I'm correct, they say he had a jacket on. So if he had a jacket on, they must have been through using. It. So when they get through using it, it sets you up to, you know, take a vacation for life. You know what I'm saying? That like nigga just, got the that nigga profile picture looking like Frank and Beverly made the shit I think it, nigga. <laughs> 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 You know, so, but like I'm saying, it's like with me, I'm just gonna say it like this and just kind of like, cause we all we're from the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, and we know how we didn't see some situation for them to get knocked off. The two that I know of that, that recently got knocked off, they got knocked off like you know, the mobster type way, you know, the face, the face rearranged, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that he, was, like, he was by himself. He was by himself, Kimberly. No, I feel you, bro. But what I'm telling you <laughs> is you got somebody that just got on got out on bond. They got restrictions, so they can't move around. So they like little bro, come high, let me get little bro over there. Somebody hop out on little bro and do the little bro dirty. I mean it's one, it. it's one, two, three, bro. Yeah, what's well, that? Yeah, yeah, look at like, hey, yeah, look at like yeah, this right here, here. If, if just saying, like me, you, and Cypress, you know what I'm saying? We got some hot stuff going on, you know what I'm saying? And y'all already know, man. AD, man, we already know, man. Be careful, bro. And we through talk, y'all through talking to me, you know what I'm saying? Because I know I didn't mess around and put that that Michael Jackson thriller jacket on, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so at this point, you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to be around you because they know if we touch you. You probably mic'd up, or you got some. You already know you are uh, in the other state right now. You know, you got some kind of device on you at all time. You did. So my whole deal is this: is like we all know, but we, it's a lot of stuff we know we just can't say at all on here. You know what I'm saying? But we know when uh we know when there's a back door, and we know when there's a, a straight setup. They set that man up to get knocked off. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So if so, if they watch Dolph and Jip. What makes us think they ain't watch him too? Well, they watched it. They had a front row seat with popcorn, just like Cyber TV. I'm trying to tell you. And then they say the car was sitting out, but they say his car was sitting out there how long before they realized what was going 24 on? 24 hours. Now. Okay, hours. now come on. Now, 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 Orange Mound, I've been in Orange Mound. Ain't nobody riding by no, no cat like him. Whatever car he was in, they ain't finna ride by that car that many times and just not pay no attention to it. So they were told, leave that car alone. You know what I'm saying? pressure that's exactly what it was the man the man the man kept he called he called himself ghost but he kept getting pulled in fam and every time he got pulled in <laughs> he was having conversations and this is this this is not nothing that they weren't privy to so when buddy got out he cleaned that up he cleaned that up because you know what I'm saying? At that point in time, them folk ain't know whether it was gonna be 60 or we were gonna be deaf. You understand me? Wow. Yeah. So yeah, so they like, yeah, you gotta go, bro. Yeah, gotta it go. Well, yeah. well, big pressure to answer your question because he was telling. Right. I was in the paper, he said one still. Kevin yeah, said, oh, watch the shoes were done up. No, they ain't nobody gonna check on you now that Memphis. Your ass dead, you too. <laughs> Mm -mm. We don't go toward the gunshots. Uh -uh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't going toward them. Yeah. So if you do, if you do the math, you're gonna look around how it's unfolding, man. You don't know who was telling, but we know who was dead. So I'm gonna say it like this: nah, you, you get shot in Memphis if you ain't going to the hospital in the private vehicle. <laughs> Motherfuckers ain't coming and looking for you. You're gonna be a dead son of when they say. Right, I mean, I just say that's sad to say, but it's the under God truth, y'all. I just seen it. And she, and she, they, they, everybody think they really trying, they trying to solve a dog case, but it's some old stuff that they trying to solve too. So it's like everybody know more than what they supposed to know. And to me, the ones who know more than what they supposed to know, they get rid of them. That's what didn't happen. 
So, you know, this ain't cause people just they, they blindfolded by the, the Dolph situation, the juke situation. But they want to they want to know everything. You know what I'm saying? DJ, I'm going to tell you like this. If, if, if you solve one of them, you solve all of them. How about that? There you, there, that's nice. what I'm getting at. Too, too nice here, too, Paul. Yeah. What up yeah, with the company? Well, the company case, that's crazy. The company case I already saw, man, because Anita Wilson used to run with bad number, bad number, throwing them shows out there and Mason and standing in there, uh, mm-hmm. all up through there. And I used to stay out there, so I know. All right. Mm-hmm. Emily? Salute. What what I was trying to say was not immediately after the shoot. I'm saying like once everything calmed down and uh-uh. they knew that was his vehicle. But uh-uh. that's how Memphis is. Good God dog on it. I, I want to curse, uh-uh. but I'm not. That is utterly diabolical. If you don't go and check on somebody, you said that's your I'm dog. Right. Like right. we 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 down like, oh man, that's ruthless. Let the cuff wear his helmet. No, no, please don't. No, no. no. Damn, tip of your tongue, you gotta let it go. No, no we try, we try, we trying to keep it clean because we don't want to take these videos. It's the key, baby. Uh-huh. Self control. Right. Okay. Yeah, hey, but okay. Kim, I'm telling you, it's a cold, cold world. It's a cold, it cold game. Oh my. Yeah. And, and like I'm gonna say this too, right here, here the two. When I was uh, when we talking about that uh. The Scott young lady, see, she used to be on a cast down here in the Delta. So she came from here to there. And she was not, I'm talking about like, I didn't see her. This ain't no cap. You can do the math on it. She used to be uh, uh, down with Fox down here in the Delta. You can do the homework and see where she come from. You're in the bushes, check it out. She was down here at one time. And trust me, she was not, she's not that type of person. They set that young lady up real bad because she green to that point. She from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, she she was green to the fact she ain't know no better. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to say this. In journalism, you can't deal in speculation, especially when there's some gangster stuff. You feel there me? There you go. Mr. What's up, man? Mr. What's Mr. Happening? What's going on? Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't deal in speculation when you, when you covering a homicide. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Y'all smashed the light bulb for me. Y'all yeah, they, 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 they got when I heard, I saw that pop up. I said, "Yeah, they got them on duck. They got her." Cause you know what I'm saying. She green. I'm talking about she greener than a than a cucumber. I'm gonna tell you like that. You know what I'm saying. And uh, when that popped off, I was like, "Oh my goodness!" Cause she ain't been too long. Made it up there. Cause you no, know, everybody knew she she had a farewell saying she's gonna leave and take the job up in uh Funky Town. You know what I'm saying. And uh, when she went and that popped off, I was like, "Oh my God!" You know what I'm saying. And I like, you know, some people can read, some people can re- scan read, and some people can't. You know what I'm saying? And and when she when she read, she she read a, uh, they taken care of up there, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But that that was very dangerous, and that made it uh, down to the Delta when she made that comment too, because that uh, was uh, like, what the hell was she thinking? Uh, it made it all over the country. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, talking about that. Talking about the broadcaster that was broadcasting live from um Teasy's crime scene. Oh Lord, you want to tell me some Dolph gang mess? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I, I got I'm following you. What's your mm-hmm. line go? Huh? What's your line? What's your line though? Uh Quetza, he Quetza, he don't know nobody over there. He ain't never heard of him. So now nah, she was lying. <laughs> <laughs> that part yes, I ain't heard of none of them folks. I, I don't know them people. Yeah, I ain't. I don't. I don't eat no cookies. I don't do no goofy shit like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that what Quest said. And he the mastermind. I'm just saying. But I'm tripping off this 1.5 out because I listened to uh, Cypress them early when I was at work, and the 1.5. They know that part. They finna break this down like a count. You know what I'm saying? They finna break this down like a count. So we're gonna find out what the remainder gonna be. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. So, I mean, so it ain't it ain't no math to be done on it though, DJ, because it's the simple fact that you know what I'm saying, as long as they know it was one point five, they ain't they ain't worried about who got what. No, y'all signed up for it. That that's bad enough. That's yep. bad enough. So you know what? We finna see about you. The dominoes just failed in. Yeah, we finna we finna we finna schedule you a 60 year spa stay. 
<laughs> you finna be you finna be behind that wall for 60 years. You were sliding with a switch. Now you behind the wall. Getting beat like crazy. you know what it is. And what's so crazy about it here, man, this is finna be this this gonna be bigger than life here right here when this all starts because Cypress said it a while back. He said gonna be some people that gonna drop, your mouth gonna drop. And that's what I'm I'm shaking my head because it, it, it sounds like gonna be some career people that have been hiding behind the eight ball the whole time. It's some yeah. people that's involved. It's some people that's involved in this shit, man. Y'all wouldn't believe. Man. It was surprising if the mayor's involved. We ain't going that far. But, uh, Listen, I'm, I'm calling. I'm just saying. I tell you what. It's well, a I'm, lot I'm of quiet people. That's, it's a lot of quiet people. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say this: if the mayor was involved, it should have been way cleaner because we we know the mayor wasn't involved in um joke, and that shit was clean as a whistle. I ain't gonna lie here, and Cypress know what I'm talking about. I cannot see in that part of Memphis with the stuff that's going on because I was like I told Cypress I was in the city you know a couple of days ago. And it's hot. I cannot see somebody ride through like it's a parade and getting away without a drop. That cause that part of the city ain't no duck city going and you can't hit no back road nowhere and nobody not see you. Cause that city is moving at all times, even at night. Man, you know what I'm this this what it is, bro. Talk about it. Ain't nobody coming out to or uh, hitting you like that in the wide open, and your own people don't know what's up. Fuck that. They just keep okay. Uh, there it is. Job. Period. All right. So check this out. Check this out, Mister. I'm finna drop that link for you. We're gonna we we, we operate now one mic, so we're gonna we, everybody gonna get their turn to talk, and we're gonna. You keep our cuss words to a minimum. We're gonna try to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. yeah. There you go. No, no, no. You good. You good. You good. Like that. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna, tr- we're gonna try to. We're gonna try to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pin it to the top of the chat, Mister. So if you if you late seeing Ooh, this, it'll t- be pinned to the top so- of the chat. Tiny is so cute. How you doing, <laughs> Tiny? Welcome, welcome to Hill of Lie. Uh, one, my, uh, one of my favorite red bone. I know she in here. One of my favorite red bone. I know you in here. Hey, man, the love, the love, hey, man, the love demon is active tonight. We bind that demon right now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and we Ooh. cast you in the pits of hell where it belongs. And it shall stay. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a lot of money in and in, in the in the words of um the good people at Miss at Makita's that we could have bought a lot of butter with that. I ain't gonna lie though, uh hit a man. I'm be honest with you. I mean for some people, but man, 1.5 million ain't no money for me to be risking my life. Well, it been broke down. You gonna have to give me. We gonna have to. about it had to be around like twenty million or something, or even more than a hundred million. But one point five million, man, that, that's some sucker money there. So check this out. That's why they got saying? sucker results. Right. So check this out. You living in a shotgun house in South Memphis. You cleaning toilets, and somebody said they're gonna pay you one point five to go and do this. And, and 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 they selling you every dream that you never heard that they they gonna get you out the way they're gonna put you up and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna send you this money and you're gonna be good for the rest of your life amen when you ain't got no hope there's some people that'll crash for that oh yeah you got you got some big facts there but you know what i'm saying yeah. i'm just glad I, i'm glad i came up like i did that's what i'm gonna say you know because it's like for, for a low boy, for, for well, when you get a little boy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can see what see your perspective of it. But man, that ain't right. enough money for me, man. That ain't you you gonna have to be talking about some some eighty or ninety million or something, you know what I'm saying, for me to risk my life. Oh, but, nah, DJ, but DJ, from what T said, her source said, 
I don't know what the starting offer w was, but nobody was biting. So he, it, the person or the people kept increasing their amount because they weren't getting anyone to take the bait. So they kept right. going up. I'm, I'm interested. I'm very interested in knowing what was the starting rate when they first put that hit out. I would love to know that to the from that point up to 1.5. Well, see, that's the deal. Dolph was who weak. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, to me, it ain't no big difference between Dolph and Gotti. Really, if you ask me, because the the final, the way Gotti blowing right now with the hundred million, Dolph was headed that way. You know what I'm saying? Because them two, to me, they was. I ain't gonna say one was the king of Memphis. To me, they both was the king of Memphis because you can see yeah. how the city divided. You know what right. I'm saying? They both were getting money. They both were getting money because Goddard to me, to me, Goddard was on his way out. He was a made man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you couldn't be, you couldn't be a dog fan before you became a, dog, a Goddard fan because Goddard was the man at the time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And God, just, Goddard was on his way out. It's just like yearly, uh, whatever it's called, Miss USA. There's new kings and queens um, born every day. So it would never only be just one king or one queen. And that's the big part that people fail to understand or realize. Yeah. All right. Cause I cause I'll be sitting here lying saying like, okay, I want bump and got it. I mean, that's a damn lie. Cause you know, Memphis it was down south. That's how New York Memphis is. And all you knew was the, the culture of Memphis. You know what I'm saying? And believe me, I'm telling you, like from my era where where I'm at, that hurt, that really hurt. It hurt a lot of us because we really hate that somebody had to lose their life because both of them made great music. And there's a lot of music gonna be left on the shelf because you know, God had to took it in now because shit, you know, shit hell right now. You know, you know, it just like I said, just a sad whether we agree, no matter if I, you a CMG or or a PRE fan, it's a lot of music got left on the shelf because of this this uh drama. You know what I'm saying? Salute, G Money. Right. Salute to you. Hey, player Co said, I told y'all that hit one cheap. No, and I and I believe that 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 it probably the low ball number on it probably was five hundred. Yeah, mm -hmm. it it definitely wasn't no forty. Now they probably put forty on 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 Grove Hero, but now nah, they know for you to get in as a dolphin, it's gonna take some strategic planning, and um, and that's what they yeah, mean. Because, it probably, yeah, because yeah, because people gotta get paid to get out the way, right? Well, see, that's the right. part that a lot of them forgot about. It's like you got to be out your rabbit ass man trying to kill somebody with this kind of money. Making this kind of money, where it's golf, juke, whatever, because of technology. Everybody talk about the money, but ain't nobody talking about the technology because you ain't getting away with shit with these satellites in the sky that we don't know about. You know what I'm saying? You know, right. you know. So it's like and you the, really take my chance. And the crazy part about it, it wasn't a hit. It was the aftermath after the hit when you need to go part the car in the residential neighborhood where everybody know everybody. And then make a video. Hey Deshaun, I've been looking for it too. I'm, I, hey, play a co. Hey man, come holler at us for a second, man. <laughs> come holler at us for a second. <laughs> we ain't finna, we ain't, we ain't gonna, ask, we ain't gonna ask you nothing, policey. Trust me. Come holler at us, man. You need yeah. to start doing that with some of that food at Prive, man. Start being, start sharing, man. Eat good and then telling us about it, man. Nah, they can keep that privé. I want something off his grill. <laughs> hey, Kobe killing it on the grill, man. Oh, yeah. Go play a Kobe, Chef Homeboy ID. Yeah, facts plus the hit was done near the airport and the military base. That's what I'm hey. saying, bro. Hey, hey, what? hey, play a Kobe. I got a question for you, Kobe. Before you even come up, let me just throw this up in there. Was this the same Sprinter van? That was at the fair farm. The nice CEO Jibble got shot. It's you say it, and I know what for. Mm. Everything goes back to that damn FedEx form, man. Ain't that something? Yeah, man. This is this is why I'm finna go back to pressure comment. Pressure said. I don't think we'll ever get the truth now. It's gonna come down to if they can prove what Govan said, and charges won't come off his statement alone. They'll need evidence too. Well, pressure, you well, know they gotta they well, gotta heard well, the evidence. Well, pressure, you right in the sense because he's a convicted felon, so they have to prove that. 
Mr. Mr. What's happening? What's going on, fellas? What's going on? What's going on, King James? What's happening with you? Anything, no crime? Tighten us up, mister. Tell us t- tell us what the word is, man. Hmm. The word is no trust. Yeah, facts. No, hmm. that, that's facts right there. 2024. Ain't nobody hmm. safe. L- let's talk about it. Hold on. Let's talk about it. Let me get y'all right. Say ain't nobody safe, huh? Uh-huh. Until we until we come together as a people, that shit been trying to go on for what the last 48 years. Mm-hmm. Ain't gonna never be right. It's too many nah. motherfuckers pulling against each other. You did, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, like like your like your page, I guarantee you within the next four or five months, it can be somebody hating on you. And it nah, ain't gonna be no white it. person. No, nah, that's how it oh. works, bro. It's just crazy, man. I mean I love coming on these on these sites, man. Just having keeping good conversation, with, but you always you always find somebody that come that want to try to drag down the other content creator and make them look bad or try to down them or make them a fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? That's right. that side that old mentality, that African slave mentality, with the one who was told the Bible, who was telling everybody to believe in Jesus. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I, I say it's a poverty mentality because we all grew, we all for the most part grew up with with um with it having sparse it, things were sparse. So, you when you get older, you automatically feel like you know if somebody else gets something, they they encroaching on you. But that that ain't the case, fam. It's enough for everybody. Devin said it, it's fat enough for everybody. Yeah. Oh, my. Uh, yeah. Devin, it's bad enough for everybody, man. Yeah, yeah. like everybody blessing is your lesson. That's how I look at it. Everybody blessing right is your lesson. Right on, right on, right on, brother. Who is that? It's DJ, what's happening with you, Big Pimp? What's going on, Playboy? I know you know better. Mm-hmm. I, I'm trying to say. I'm saying, I'm tell you something that I was raised up on, man. My, 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 my pop said it. I mean, I think I'm the realest nigga I ever know in my life said that. You don't need no bunch of people to know who you are. You don't got to ride everybody in your car just because you got a car and they think you think that they're friends. He told me that in high school, man. You keep riding, I'm going to take that car from you because it's not benefiting you, benefiting them. This was the word my pop said to me. Absolutely. And and let and let low later on, it, be, it came to fruition. It, it came to truth because when I went to prison, the nigga that arrived with me didn't ride with me. <laughs> right. That's how it That's goes. how it always be, because it's like, you know, the story he's just said, it, it makes sense, because once that car breaks down, you, you know what I'm saying, your friends disappear and everything, mm-hmm. and then now you got to go sit in that living room, because that's what I call it, what we got going on, we call it a living room, because everybody, that's when you get the facts in the living room. And, and, and DJ, 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 DJ yeah. facts of the matter, facts of the matter, bro. Them same motherfucker will come pick you up. We need to ride. There you go. You know what I'm saying? That's basically how they it went. Got, they got every excuse not to fuck with you. Yeah. There you go. And, and going to double charge you for gas if you come through and you gave them free rides the whole time. So I, mm-hmm. oh, you learn, you learn that. But like my grandma once told me, she said, if your family don't teach you nothing, the street's going to rob you. Damn you know right. What I'm and my dad had that word. He said, he said, you don't listen to me, you run to a brick wall. There it is. Yeah. And I tell my boy every day, a thinking man is a crash dummy. It ain't no, a, a thinking, a, a, a man is not a thinking man is a crash dummy. It ain't no in between. Nope. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm mm-hmm. proud to, to y'all, brother. I did. Mm-hmm. I, I know I'm proud. I'm, I'm, I'm t- it's not a boast. This is a, this is a awareness fact. I did ten years in prison, bro. And I got a, I got, I, I got one of the best jobs you can have in the state of Texas right now. I have people walk to me and say, "You at OD? Y'all got that money? You're right. Call your pay. <laughs> that was my goal, my nigga. I always want to do better. If FedEx call me tomorrow, I mean, I mean, if uh, UPS call me tomorrow, I'm out. You know why? 
Because you is making forty five fucking dollars an hour. You understand? Know I'm always gonna try to better myself. I, I gotta better myself for the better of my people, my family. Nah, that's no real. One, no one a blessed to come your way, dog. No one that blessed to come your way. And sometimes you gotta be prepared when you prepare yourself for that blessing, because you know you, you gotta be ready when it comes too. Exactly. You're right. You're right, bro. You know I'm on your time. You damn right. Cause sometimes the, the, the nigga that's dead and gone right now said the most key words I heard in my life, besides some other words, was more money, more problems. Big biggest small. Mm -hmm. okay. More money, nah, that's, that's facts. And when we talk about fathers and, and, and people giving us words of wisdom, that's the problem with these dudes that we talking about now in this live. You can tell that either they they father didn't give them no wisdom, then then pour into them, or they didn't have one. You understand right. me? Right, right. You know, right on. You know what I'm saying? And you can and tell though. You can tell by just meeting them though, Hilda. You can tell by a cat how you were raised by just pure first dance conversation. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, see that that's the crazy part. Go back in our days, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I'm, I'm right with with uh James. I remember after you got your ass whooping, three or four people came in the room to talk to you about your ass whooping, and then finally the one who gave you that 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 thunder that thundercat ass whooping, they coming in and finish the conversation off. Mm -hmm. Now that don't happen no more. You know, it's like our generation. I, don't, I ain't gonna say it's gone. It's just it's very limited right now. I'm, I'm gonna say what people don't want to hear though, my nigga. Tell people don't want to hear. This is the process of elimination. You hear me? Big facts. Uh -huh. That drill rap shit was designed. It wasn't made up. It was designed. Mm -hmm. Because you remember back in the day, Kumo D, LL Cool J, MC Hammer, they had big beefs a long time, carried out for years, but nobody never got taken out. Uh -huh. well, nobody even talked can... about that shit. We can go we can go down a rabbit hole and talk about how in nineteen ninety one they uh strategically changed the whole layout oh, yeah. of this culture. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, we could talk about the meetings that they had and you know what I'm saying. Them boy them boys in Cleveland, they didn't know what they were doing. Somebody told them to play with a Ouija board. Well, you know what I'm saying? Right. But, but, hey, 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 hey! I'm, 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 I'm gonna say something on that right there. I don't even think that was what it was about my nigga. I think what that man came out and said, "Crazy Bone." I think it was Lazy Bone. One of them bones came out and yeah. said, "It was Illuminati who came and stepped to them and said, listen, y'all got to make busy this kind bone. of music.'" Busy Bone. Nah, nah, it wasn't busy. It was, it was, um, the it crazy was crazy. And lazy. It was crazy. crazy. And lazy. Uh, the, uh, Dark yeah. Yeah, the one, the one that, that just got sick here not too long ago. Mm -hmm. but, oh, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Um, yeah, they came to him. Yeah, yeah they, I they, know. They, he said and, it. And, and, yeah, and they put they put that Ouija board in front of him as a gimmick. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you something though. Here, to know it was some lot of this music back then, but I ain't gonna lie here. Though. Everybody talk about the drill music, but Tupac did the drill when he came with that hit him up, and it ain't we ain't looked back since. No, when he, no, we can't compare the Tupac. Here no, that's not the same, bro. That's not the same, bro. No, no, we ain't gonna let you know. No. That's not the same, bro. That's not the same. I'm telling you why that's the same because Tupac was trying to get out the way. Real nigga talk. From my investigation, my studies, this nigga trying to get out of the way. Uh -huh. What happened was he made a, a poor decision by not staying in that room with his wife and going to that fight. Come on, uh, what's the name? Uh, what's the name? Gibson. What's it was? His daughter, that, uh, the, the big rap mogul, big uh, music mogul daughter. Daughter, Jones. Daughter Jones. Yeah. What's what's yeah. it, what's it, what's her da daddy's name? Quincy. 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 Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Want, that, that was a big part of that movie too. That was a big part of that movie that nobody paid attention to. But everybody knows the police had something to do with him and Big shit. Right. Say so what's like? Everybody knows the police had something to do with him and Big being gone. Of course. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. This is the proof of pudding. They claim the fat nigga got hit in the head, right? right? That's a lie. One of them driving. That's, that's, 
BS. Because if you get scraped with a bullet in your your, your brain, you gonna be you gonna be in the hospital for a few days because it, it gonna it gonna shatter it gonna shatter or fuck with your skull. There you go. This, this is real talk. I've been shot before, so I know you know what I'm saying. Ain't no I've been shot no before. Yeah, yeah, ain't, ain't no, no escaping. Ain't, ain't no escaping. No. Hit the light button, you yeah. hit that hard with a ricochet bullet, you got a you got an iron head. Man, he gonna be blind. He need one of the two. Exactly. There, there you go. There you Stanley, go. Stanley been on penetrate all the way through like they claim. Nah, he was in on that shit. I believe that because Pop was saying he about to buy. I, I come to find out later on, y'all. I don't know if y'all heard this. It was just a chat in the streets that that Pop and Big was talking about starting their own label. Mm -hmm. they, they been talking about doing that. They been talking about that. They, I heard they that too. They one time mm -hmm. I doing it together. But that was probably just rumors. Yeah. They oh, sure they was. Were. They, they, they was on that before the beef really got see the sub. They they gonna present to us because like I said I was back in that era. They presented to us what they wanted us to hear. But Tupac and Biggie really when they showed in that movie, which they they watered that down when Biggie came to see Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Tupac didn't even know Biggie was there. They just turned Biggie around. You know what I'm saying? But, but the mama said that though, bro. But the problem well, see, was the, um, P. Diddy came in between um, there um, you go. Biggie and Tupac because um, Biggie could not, excuse me, Big, yeah, Biggie and Tupac both could not stand Diddy. There you go. That's facts there. It's it also facts that the mama, Biggie mama made the statement that that's why she feel like they did some to him because that hurt that him and Pop was trying to make amends, trying to do something different. I'm gonna say this, Jane, and this just the facts. I, I, I would never same way. On, I don't understand why Dolph walked up to that, went to that place by himself. I would never understand with all that stuff going on. Why would Biggie let anybody, money wise or whatever, let him get on that plane and go to L.A. knowing it was a 95 percent chance he was not coming back? He he no mama his, I can tell I you why. He album. But see, that's but see, yet yet at the same time he can promote it without being there because of the. But you know, like I said, P Diddy could have went there and promoted it and took that chance. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let me according, say something. According to Puffy, Puffy begged him to be there for yeah. one. Number two, he didn't know he was going to lose his life. Oh. He didn't know he the state. You know mm -hmm. so, Yeah. Um, also, I would I would like to add. According to Gene Deal, allegedly, um, yep. Biggie had no money, and his mom, um, she was building a new home, and you know he was dealing with um, Charlie Baltimore. He had women here, he had women there. He really didn't have money because he was too busy spending on all these women and being in debt. So he he felt obligated to go, and no, he did not want to go, but he felt pressured <laughs> allegedly. And Queen, at the same time, he do with the fact that the man put the album out saying he had sex with his wife. He didn't know his kid or not. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but um, but I haven't spoken to you in a minute. But how are you doing, Mister? I'm King good. Mr. How about you? Mr. King, Mister. <laughs> I'm good. How about you? I'm well. I'm 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 extremely um grateful. I'm excited. I'm ecstatic right now. On my way to my second job. Um, I really can't complain. All right, all right, that's good. That's good to hear. And see, we looking at we just talk. See, we talking about some two parts of how long that been, and we still it's still a seesawing. So imagine with this Dolph situation, Dolph Juke and all these fallen brothers that you know went on that for life. Uh, died. You know what I'm saying? Look what it. How y'all? How long y'all think gonna be before we find the truth out about that? Well, see, this how they this how they separate that shit though. My nigga, <clears throat> they, they, they look like this. Like everybody say, Pop should never got involved with that fight at the casino, or he'll still be alive. But that's not that's not true. If somebody got it out for you, Dolph said it himself, and they want you gonna get you. There you go. So, and as far as, being as, this, out, baby, as far as this, as far as this not go, going as long as that, it'll never go as far. This is 2024. That was 1996. No internet. You understand me? Right. No, nope. ca no cameras on every Barely corner. Phone. 
Yeah, you got cameras in, in, in on every corner. You got cameras in full pockets. You know what I'm saying? You got cameras and devices that, that you didn't even know had cameras. You got shot right. spotters. Yeah. Technology right. is a mother sucker. And like, like Deshaun said, this happened right by the airport. Cameras everywhere. Mm -hmm. and, right by army base this is um how can i say it federal land okay. yeah well, i'm gonna say this right here i'm gonna you say this right here too, like that, man. when it, it didn't take it don't take no time i don't even i, I barely watch for, for 448 now but I, every time i watch it they always go back to the camera they, we look for camera we look for camera that's the first thing they look for yeah hey but i'm gonna say this to y'all Cause I'm I'm in that uh that, that casino life. Check this out right here. They say they got a camera on our building that can look north, east with 360 degrees, ten miles. That's all mm. I'm gonna say. Mm. I'm through talking. Do you think the one of the members don't reach a long got a long arm on it? Come on. All right. That's all I'm gonna say. So if you got an airport, how long do you think that, that tower, how many how many cameras on that tower they can see what's going on? Right. And, 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 and even if it wasn't the airport that you in a crime you in a high crime area, high crime areas come with cameras on every there corner. You, go. you know what I'm saying? Mobile police towers. Come on, man. This, this this one this one wasn't hard to solve. But if I may add, not to mention the self snitching that these idiots are doing nowadays after they commit crime, a crime or while they're committing crimes. Like it seems like it's it, to them they rather have the clout more so than the money and the freedom or their lives, in my opinion. Yep, you're right. That's stupid. Come listen. When you put, when you think about it, when you think about it. Check this out. You want to go outside and do something to say. If I'm, if I'm in Alabama one day and he to hit me and say, "Hey man, this fool be, be jacking me, messing with me every day, man." When you come down this week, I need you to handle that for me. Right. At that point, I got a decision to make. If I go down there and do some stupid shit, it's a chance that I will come on vacation and leave on probation or go to jail. Right. If so you don't have that thought that. process, you don't have that thought process, you're going to make the same dumb ass shit every time. I'm going to do it and I'm going to be okay. Who thinks like that? Nobody but young people. Right. Like, Come on, thing about it. Mister, like, uh, unfortunately, shop. you got um, older men and women doing the same freaking thing, which is even more disgusting. But but they're not acting on their own part. They putting young people to do it. They're not doing it themselves. The right. one doing it themselves going where? Straight to jail. True, but what I'm, I'm gonna say it like you have uh, these grown, fully grown men, well, appearing to be fully grown men and women doing crap for clout as well on the internet. But you got people out here now, and a lot of people don't believe this until you around these people all the time. You got some people alive, but they really dead on the inside. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, people yeah. who are already dead, no, they just ready I, to die. I see she what she's going. saying. She got, she's saying they got grown people do, do the same stupid shit. But it's a percentage of them, though. It's a percentage that's, I'm going to say between the 30 and, I'm going to say between the 29 and 40 year old people who still believe they still run the street, they still got gang, they still gangster, they still claim shit, and they mm -hmm. don't care about nothing but impress somebody. Right. That part right there. I'm talking about 50 year olds, 6 year olds that I, that I see with my own eyes. And it's oh, yeah. utterly ridiculous. Well, they need to be, they need to, they need to add entire ass kick, man, because when you hit that A right there, you need to be trying to figure out what you're going to do you should have known what you're going to do, but if you're still confused, you should be trying to figure out what you're going to do within the next year. Because your yeah, time is limited. Still, some of them still trying to live that, that young life through, through the youngsters and spreading that, that demon time with them. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Not knowing that, not, not knowing that, you know what I'm saying, that a lot of people keep on forgetting, you know, like years from now, somebody, daughter or son or grandmama or mama get killed. They'll be like, man, how did, why that happened? Karma is a mother. 
You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it take that route. So you kill somebody, folks, but 20 years ago, 20 years later, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's kept right back around on you. My, my people told me it's skipped generation sometimes. It might not be your kid, it might be your kid's kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And wonder why, no, why that happened. It has no uh no 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 particular time. Oh yeah. That's why I say that's that's and what we live saying, in. I get what you're saying too, man, that that you know, it's some old cats out here still thinking they thugging. And I, I, I'm one of them, 50 years old, and I'll I, I do some stupid shit in New York minute if they fuck with my family, but I'm not out here chasing the streets. I'm not out here, like, like fuck with people or trying to, you know, trying to bang. I'm not doing that no more. I got a, I got a reality that been checked in. I got a job. I got a place to stay. I got a car. I got children. I got children that are grown and some children I love as grandkids. You dig? So I don't, I don't make the same decision I used to make back then. All right. And to see the situation is um you supposed to move like that when you at a certain age, but you know, it's it's almost like um uh, what is that movie? Don't be a menace to South Central when they had Huggy Bad talking about some come on y'all, let's hold out on the porch. You still mm -hmm. got a remnant of old niggas out here that still with hold it. on to that youth. Hey, and yeah. they I said, I still got it. I still got it. Listen, I I, 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 I witness older men with gray hair sagging. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, and, and, and older women being, you know, thought the honors with their clothes. Oh, oh yes. I'm 42, it, and I don't even dare dress like that. Uh -oh. See, that's I, uh -oh. I would never even, I couldn't do that. I'm tell you, you why I do is go to TikTok. I'm tell you my opinion. That, I'm tell you my opinion. That is because grandmama's are 35 now. Yeah, you did, and, and and the one that probably got her to 35, probably like 23 or 26, <laughs> because it's a it's a it's a jacked up situation where you want to be with the young thug and the and the and the young gangster, not not knowing that nigga still stay with his mama now. And once you frame it, there you go. A mess of society. You saw that movie. There it is. You know what I'm saying? Boys in the hood. There it is. Yeah, you know they, what I'm they was observing us then. Bro, they just made a move out of it. Boys in the and hood is one of my top favorite uh, movies from the 90s. Right. And see, that's that's so crazy because I don't know how it was in Memphis, but I'm going to tell you how it was in Little Rock. When that movie Boys in the Hood and the Men's Society, that's why a lot of movie theaters are gone now because when they brought movies, they was afraid to bring those type of movies to the to our uh, culture whatsoever because it brought back memories. At, at that time, that's when the game banging and Little Rock was at its height. And I'm I'm telling you, they would do that movie and it would be a straight shootout. So if it was going on in, in, in uh, Little Rock, I know it was going down in Memphis like that. Right. So many. Um, too. So many um cities had movie theaters that you know either got shot up or somebody got unalived outside of the movies. You know what I'm saying? There you go. And um that's that's a that's a cold part of the game, but it is it existed, you know. That's the era we came up in. People shooting at the movies, people getting unalived outside the movies, people getting their they shoes snatched clean off their feet because ain't nobody had no money. And if you dared to have a little change, they were going to come get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that it's was like, it's it's like Ty Tier now, though. It's like Ty Tier now. now. Oh, yeah. It's super high. Now, there you go. It's like, there it's you like go. it ain't safe to go to a movie, post office, uh, grocery store, anything because space stayed in a city where, where, Somebody who's hungry is out there just lurking, waiting to find somebody who's slipping. Yeah. Hey, when you it's ain't when you, in some churches either. Daddy is right there. Pastors and deacons and stuff carrying guns now for protection in their church. Yeah, I knew the game had did a 360 when it was going on in Chicago. This is what hit me shooting at funerals, man. Like, yeah, man, wow, that that why I knew. Yeah. I said, man, this is old with. That ain't no new. They, they, were shooting, they were shooting down here. They were shooting the funeral down here in the nineties. So that ain't nothing new for us. But right on. Know, I'm gonna say this: if you if I don't go to Walmart no more, you know what I'm saying? I don't go to Walmart no more. 
you don't know what type of lunatic you're going to run into in Walmart, man. Right. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, and when straight. I do go here, I'm going to holler like I walk into a war zone. But right, it's crazy, got- though, in Cyprus. In Cyprus, I know I'm telling the truth about this. Most of the people that live in Memphis will come, will drive all the way to South Haven or Olive Branch or even uh, Carville to go to Walmart before they go to Walmart right and they sit right in the, right down the road from them. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know, because it's safe. It's safer. And that's just real talk there. I'm talking about like, and I was one of the ones that like, I didn't go to that Walmart because some Walmarts in Memphis, you would, you would go bypass it to go east. Or go to uh, Mississippi, go to Walmart. You know what I'm saying? God. And that's how really bad it is. I'm telling you, and Cypress, the player code, the cats from Memphis, the ones in the bush, they know I ain't lying. I'm talking about they will actually go to South Haven again and uh, Carville before they go to the the normal Walmarts in, uh, in Memphis, man. Scared of getting robbed, especially around Christmas time, too. Oh, man. Yeah. And, 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 there's no, and there's no um, activists, no, no um, black leaders marching or bending together saying this is horrible but they would when it comes to black lives matter which is just utterly disgusting that yeah. um, black and brown communities have to choose their safety and food for food that is utterly ridiculous say let me tell y'all something i better get off here listen I used to, when i first moved to town i used to live on meadowbrook it was a neighborhood walmart there right it was right. getting robbed so much till they closed it down now they had to go to goddamn Euless, Arlington, or anywhere outside of, of Fort Worth, basically, like out, out of your neighborhood to get some groceries, right? Mm-hmm. And there's the same thing going on now. These people, these, these people will shut a whole store down to keep from losing a little chain behind a, a theft here and a theft there, believe it or not. Absolutely. And, 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 it, and, and the people that doing it don't care about the neighborhood. Also, why money. do you all think other races they be um, um, complaining and, and and suing Walmart because they don't want them coming to their neighborhoods because Walmart they drive the goods out and then they have done it here and then they close the stores. They 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 have um, um, stores neighborhood Walmart and then they close other groceries and then they'll turn them down. I don't hear What's happening? We finna circle back around to the topic. We didn't got way. We all we all down yes, in the country. Are. Yeah. What's up with it? What's up with it, Mister? Hey, true. Hey, I, true I, gotta, I gotta get up. Mr. The, I gotta get up in the morning, bro. I, I just want to pop in and just show some love, man. Uh, I got to hit it in the morning, bro. Mister, you know you're always welcome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, I'm so gonna pull up every time I see your notice. For sure, for sure, man. You you have a good one, bro, and be safe out on that road, man. For sure, right. brother. Y'all, hey, everybody, pray y'all be safe. Everybody, in the chat y'all be safe. Love y'all. All right, one love, man. One love. One love. one love. But like I was saying, true. If you want to pop up, you you more than welcome to pop up, man. You know what I'm saying? We just, you know, what I'm saying we just we were basically talking about Cornelius and the situation going on with him. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, hey, catch me what? up though, because like I said, you know, I've been at work all day, so I don't even watch it. I watch y'all my news channel shit. You know. Huh? I ain't got time to be get that watered down, man. I I want some real Kool Aid. So is it phenomenal true black Cornelius, woman? What's up? That Cornelius and what's his name, um, Migo or whatever, aren't they brothers? Nah, or is nah, that just a brothers. rumor? Yeah, that's rumor. Mm. Yeah, that's rumor. They not they not related, you know. <laughs> Those are the type of um. Yeah, man, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, Brody. But yeah, um, that's just the type of stuff that pop out when something happens. You know, people be searching for um, attention and they'll say anything, um, especially when something as big as what happened with Dolph. You remember the dude with the dreadlocks that said that uh, Dolph had um, had hit him up and said, if, if they unalive me, just know that the Empire did it because I tried to yes. buy an Empire. Yeah. And people ran with that and, and like he just disappeared. Like where where did that idiot go? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And no telling where he went. Well he, he just so crazy. The fame and he dipped out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be everybody be searching for a little bit of clout, man. So I think some crazy. of his clout and some of them playing a role, like they paid to put false information out there. Yeah, to, yeah. to throw you to throw you uh throw you to the left a lot. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? 
But that's why I say, you know, it, thank God, you know what I'm saying, you know, you can't stop the Almighty. Thank God that a lot of, like, uh, hit your platform, Cypress, Tamra, all of y'all, and came to the rescue because we would be lost. A lot of people would be sitting here like we wouldn't know what to think and get to the point that you wouldn't care because when you keep on get fed, fed with lies, you don't want to hear no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and that's, and that's what's really going on now that we got somewhere where we can actually sit back and listen where you're in the bushes or come to the platform and hear what's makes sense and it's not hearing all that you know that that food gaze and stuff well the sad part about it is we don't have uh it's it's more of them than it is of us so we kind of get uh lost in the sauce so to speak but we're gonna keep on pushing standing on business and, and pressing that line you know what i'm saying because there's a lot of people that got itching ears and they just want to hear something interesting they don't care if it was is if it's the truth or not you know, I, you I call this red out. I call this red out. Red, red, raised boom boom room. You know what I'm saying? Some people just want to turn the TV on and, and lay back and be entertained. They don't care if this shit real or not. There you go. Cypress. Cypress not up here. Oh, he's up. Oh, he left. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, because I was gonna say he and I, we know someone who had a YouTube channel, and he wasn't so much. Um, focus more so on quality. He wanted to be the first to put it out, and I'm like, dude, it should be. You should. You should want to make sure your information is correct to the best of your ability. You know, the quality, not so much that you the first one. Who cares? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, that never works out. That never works out. When when people know that you want to be the first one to do do um bring something to to the internet, what they will do. They'll feed you a, a plate of bullshit, you know what I'm saying, and, and they'll right. sit back and they'll watch you crash, yeah. Make a, right, and, and laugh at you like a clown. Right. But anyway, um, I'm gonna drop down into the comments as as I can because I am driving. But I just, you know, wanted to say that a little bit a little while ago, and I do appreciate you here for allowing me on your platform, bro. I really do. Absolutely. And Absolutely. You, you all, Kenny. please like, share, and subscribe to our fans. We gotta support each other. We gotta stay strong. No doubt about it. You yes, know what you know, keep your numbers. No doubt about it. Yeah, that's that's, right. that's what it later. is. All right, All right now, you, All right, bye. Well, see, that's the, the scary part about this situation is that nobody's paying attention to. How can I say this? Nobody paying attention to the roller coaster ride that we on. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, you know, you know, Tamara, she's spearing here in a lot of things. And I, uh, you brought that to the attention of, I think we was on the platform before, and you brought it to the attention, like, hey, you know, get the flowers to who need the flowers and everything. And that's what I love about this whole movement that's going on, because Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas, all of us, we, we've seen the same thing. And, you know, something happened in Alabama that's that's like home. Something happened in Tennessee that's like home, vice versa. So it's like a lot of people not, people playing with the wrong stuff. And Cypher said that once before. You know, also, you, you know, dress it many times. Stop playing with each other's lives because one little false statement can get a whole bunch of people killed, especially when you're on a large pl- uh, platform. You just can't be doing that. And I think people are taking this Dolph joke and et cetera situation like it's, it's it's a game but this a lot of people really losing their lives so stop with the yeah. food gaze and stuff man and, and put out what's real yeah you got to uh, but to see the thing is people look at this like entertainment you know and you know we try to we try to put a little we try to put a little and you know i'm playing music at the beginning and at the end of my videos to get people in and get them you know what i'm saying is it let me do the entertainment don't let what we are talking about be the entertainment because this is people's lives people are actually grieving lost loved ones you see what i'm saying from ceo tz to big jook to young Dolph to um big newski i mean it is so, jeremiah taylor you know what i'm saying the the the, the list is endless you know we Man, can't really yeah but what people will do they will sit up and they will act like this is 
football or basketball. You know what I'm mm. saying? I'm rooting for PRE. I'm rooting for uh, CMG. And I hope them niggas go to jail. And I can't stand... Nah, bro. We can't do that. You know, at the end of the day, at the very end of the day, we need justice for Dolph. Um, and I know sure. a lot of people want justice for Joe. Exactly. Because you know really... I'm going to say it like this here. Once you take away this this AKA name and they government names come out, these brothers are the same. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they know you can't accept they, they young men, they fathers, no, et cetera. But the part that people not understanding is, is that it's more like saying when a situation, when, when an argument is bad, let it calm down, leave it alone. In the right. same way, if someone, when these two cats passed away, let the ones that's involved with the situation, let them deal with the way they're going to deal with it. Don't be out there trying to speculate and when you don't know what the hell going on. You know, and I feel you will be feeling uh, player code and Cyphers and Tamara like y'all don't really know what's going on. We can talk about it, but we're going to go to a certain extent. But it's like the situation went on in Alabama with the, the situation that you uh, was uh talking about we get on your platform can't nobody yeah, come right. and say yeah they, yeah they can't come and out talk to you about the situation it's just to me me being from the area i'm in like i tell anybody you know people from my, my area gonna say yeah memphis is out of new york so we there all the time you know what i'm saying we got people there so we know a lot of stuff but we're never gonna speak on it but let the ones who are close to the situation speak on it because we may know just what they know but we ain't finna speak on it. Let the one speak on it. That's that's death. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this, bro. And and I and I and I'm, uh, what you said. And I'm not down down downing what you said. It sounds good, but on this app, we got content creators. And I don't care if you in Seattle, Washington, if you speaking facts, cut this there camera on and and run your content. It's the fact that people yep. not speaking facts. People feeling there like you go. that, there that you the go. truth ain't enough and they got to throw shit on top of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't need that, bro. Because yep. that's the people close to the situation, if they not level-headed, you might have somebody that do something crazy like try to run up in a cookie shop. You see what I'm saying? There you go. That's what we don't need. Because yeah. even though this is entertainment to some, this is real life to many. Others. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? And, you know, the other night when when me and Tam interviewed Raven, you could hear it on our voice. This is, she, she, this is her real life. She yeah. was, what I, what I realized, because like I said, I've been, I, I don't know what no, but I've been around her. And that interview to me was like the 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 beginning of what y'all building and everything because I watched her. I think I said this to you once before. I watched how they destroyed that young lady over there on the other side, and for her to come up there, she was at peace. I'm telling you, she felt right. like she felt like she was in the living room with with some mm -hmm. friends. And she was able to talk and not only, you know, be respected, but I'm telling you, I saw how they tore that young lady down. So it's like, to me, what y'all did was a beautiful thing. And she was heard, finally heard without being interrupted and, you know, just making the situation worse than what it is. So I, I salute you and Tamara for that. That to me, that was that was the beginning of the movement right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Well, you know that's how that's how we rock, man. And I and I know she own. I know she she own now. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't intentional for us to both go live at the same time, but that's how we rock, fam. We support yeah. each other. You know, I'm pretty sure everybody in this chat know about Player Co. They know about Cypress. They know about Tam. And if you if you're not familiar, y'all need to get familiar with Big True that. You know oh, yeah. what I'm he, he, I've been hearing about him. I, I, I'm gonna check him out. Oh, I, I've been paying attention. I've, I've been on. I mean, I've been. I didn't incline with him and everything by having us uh, subscribe to him because it's like every time it's like because like all I'm doing is pretty much just following uh, 
the circle we in because right. everybody is in on the same level and it's it's family you know yeah. we, we we became family i'm telling you like i'm tell you right now big true is bringing um certified stories straight out of um straight Funky out of time. walker homes he bringing it straight out of walker home and true if you in here what's that what's your hood man what's your hood because i i don't know it i just know about bro what you talk about i i it's on the tip of my tongue but i can't pronounce it but he bringing he bringing you um live reactions to his real life from the mob you know what i'm saying so yeah, oh so yeah, 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 yeah. And, and go rock with true that Nehemiah, yeah, the Nehemiah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, y'all gotta check him out, man. I, I feel like I've seen that cat in Memphis somewhere, man. Just that his voice. That's all I'm gonna well, say. Well, I'm gonna tell that, you that like voice this. That voice. Tell you like this. He's six foot eight. So if you've seen him, you'll know you've seen him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so, so 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 he dunking. Yeah, he done absolutely. It. He done. He done. It. Absolutely. So yeah, <laughs> if you seen him true, yeah, you you know you seen him because that's a big fella. Salute yeah. to big true that. But yeah, yeah man. But like I say though, man, it's, it's just, it just it is what it is. Like I said, because I, I looked on, I saw Tamara and I saw you. I said, let me do this fifty fifty today. You know what I'm saying? Because I miss Cypress. Right. right. So. Cause I know Tamara, she's gonna be on there for a minute. I know you be, you know, you get down and we meet back up, meet back in the living room. Cause like I told Cypress, I said the movement not gonna be the living room, cause that's what it is. Cause right. nobody, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you here to, I, I've been watching this blog for a long time. Ain't nobody mm -hmm. doing it like y'all doing it, like pulling up like that. It's like one person always running the show. You know what right. I'm saying? And, and you go on everybody else's platform, it's just a lot of disrespect. They talk crazy to each other. And yeah. over here, over here, over there, it's like, hey man, you know, sit down, man. Go 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 go, go outside and smoke your cigarette, you know, then come back. You know what I'm saying? And, I'm, and let me tell you, I don't mind, you know what I'm saying, kicking kicking the bobo, you know what I'm saying, talking about in and yeah. everything. I run a lot of live lives where it's just open panel, but I believe in content. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Stay on, the, stay on the structure. The the day, yeah. At the end of the day, I'm gonna produce that content. Now, after I, after I drop this content, we gonna we gonna kick back and we are gonna chop it up about the content. But we are gonna keep it on content. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna keep it on content and we are gonna keep it factual. You know what I'm saying? We gonna uh, we gonna lend our opinion and we are gonna keep it factual because that's how we rocking. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Nothing more. Oh, yeah. Nothing less. But hey man, yep. check this out. Oh, we, we, finna go, we finna go to we the finna, other living room. Yeah, we finna go to the other living room. We're gonna shut it down and we're gonna parlay. Screw that. I know I know you enjoying your um your evening, man. If you get a chance to pop out with me um a little bit later, man, do your thing and uh we'll be glad to have you, man. But hey, salute to everybody in the chat, everybody that tapped in from true that phenomenal black woman chocolate, you know what I'm saying? Uh killer Kai. Uh, Manny G, everybody that tapped in and rock with us, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Bad Ways, So Witty, 901 King Deshaun, G Money, Big Pressure, Player Cole, you know, Leah, you know what I'm saying? Mister, you know what I'm saying? Tiny, everybody that rock with us, I want to say thank you and salute to y'all because without y'all, there's no Alabama hitter. Salute to the hit squad. We're standing up and we finna um take this thing to new heights. All the way from Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, it's your country cousin from down 22, man. Y'all holler at me when you see me in the streets. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, DJ, I appreciate you. I appreciate you for popping up. Drop down for me, and we're going over to town. You know what I'm talking about? Already. Already. You know what it is. But yeah, man, that's how we rocking. That's how we rocking. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Y'all know what it is. When we pop out, it's always, it's always a treat. And it's always, you know what I'm saying? It's always a treat and it's always good content, good um, how can I say it? Good commentary. Hey, shout out to my cuz straight up out of South Memphis, man. What's up with it, cuz? I see you, Casey Wave in the building. How we rocking, man? You know what I'm saying? So Hey man, this boy Alabama hitter. 
And until the next time that we decide to spin, I'm in the wind. Salute to all the hitters. Y'all already know what it is. Let's go. Mature, young nigga smooth as with lure, whole neck full of jewels. I ain't never kill a wolves in my neck of the wool, so swing your ass around here. Talking about making the jewels, your ass might not make it back. If you make it, you good. I'm fresh up off a fair bit. Thanks to Sammy the Bull, but fuck it. It's all good, it's all hood, it's all trill to a nigga like me. Bitch is still like me. Shit, a thug I might be, or the plug I might be. But fuck with me and fit the slows, don't fuck up your white teeth, huh? Pull up Porsche Cayenne, hotter than the Cayenne. Bad bitch Cheyenne, fun to Virgin Islands. Broke nigga can't get up, but that pussy I can finance. Broke a long time, shit, I had to wait on my chance. Bama gang skybox, pull up found in my spot. Cause they'll find Cyclops, scratch off in the high rock. Bitch, I keep them keys, it don't matter if the door lock. Big ass nigga, I turn that shit to poke chops. Oink, oink, did you miss me? Bitch, a boink, boink. Hit you in your mask, and one nigga game point. Studio and moving dope, do that at the same joint. Sell it to him, rob him for it, did that in the same money. I let it breathe. Weez. Sometimes you gotta step outside yourself and look at yourself. Bitch, you have to gang, nigga. Let that bitch breathe, man. Outside.